Previously on Quest for Wonder. Are you going to help me find my wonder or not? So you're on TV in space as well. Are you sure your wonder hasn't gone into space? I'm beginning to think that maybe my wonder has gone to the moon. It's always the moon with you, isn't it? It's always about you, you, you and the moon. So, Brian, is it really possible that your wonder is not of this world? Why not? Wonders all around us, in the intricacy of a mind that can ask questions about why we are as we are, about our place in the universe, to muse upon our past and to ponder about our future. To ask why we don't have any legs. To ask why we don't have any legs. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a design feature, probably. Well, perhaps it's just an emergent property of being made of felt. Well, it makes it easier to fit us back into the suitcases, I suppose. Hey, how come yours is velvet and mine is sort of mainly sellotape and broken? Because I'm on telly. Uh, well, remember, one day you'll be a black hole. <laughs> I reckon your wonder got bored of humanity's slow progress into space and made a break for it. It's been over 40 years since we went to the moon, so... That's right, to the moon. To the moon! Or to a set that is very similar to the moon in the Science Museum. Wow. This is it, isn't it? This is it. This is the original set they used to pretend we landed on the moon in 1969. Pretend? Yeah. Robin. Yeah? Robin. Yeah? We did really land on the moon. No. Yes. No. Really? Right, fine then. If we did really land on the moon, then how come... Well, I can stop you there, because you've asked this before, haven't you? A little bit, yes. And I've told you the answers, haven't I? Yeah, I have asked some of these questions. I don't know if you've ever given me an answer. I no, certainly can't yes, remember. I'm giving you answers. You're going to say, what about the Van, Van Allen belts, aren't you? The oh, Van oh, Allen belts. Yes, yes. Radiation belts that uh, ring the Earth, primarily the equatorial regions, and there's a clue. See, they're not very intense around the polar regions, and that's why the trajectory chosen for the flight of the Apollo spacecraft to the Moon was essentially polar to miss them. Okay, so it's fine. but what about the, the shadows, yeah? Yeah. There is no inconsistency with the shadows. There's none. None at all. Oh, well, that's all well and good, but what yeah, about flag, the flag? Flag, 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 yeah, yes. flag. You know, you know that they knew that the moon had very little atmosphere, essentially a vacuum. They knew that, didn't they? Because they had spacesuits on. They wouldn't have had the spacesuits, would they, if they hadn't known. So it wasn't a surprise that when they set foot on the moon, then there wasn't any air, was it? That wasn't a surprise to them. So they made a flag that would stick out, kind of a bit of wire, basically. It was kind of rigid flag because they knew that if they didn't have a rigid flag, then they would put it in there and you wouldn't see the stars and stripes. And so they wouldn't be able to take a picture of it and say, we come in peace for all my kind of stick the flag there. They would have done that, would they? So they knew that. So they made a flag that would stick out and that's why it sticks out. It well, accident, it? that's all going well to, and good. What about the cost of Going to though? the moon was one of the great inspirational moments. I would say the greatest inspirational moment, the greatest achievement in human history, the greatest achievement of our civilization. It was technically virtually impossible at the time, and yet we did it because we could. One giant leap for mankind inspired a generation. It is the great achievement, the great... See? I told you, you wonder. It's back. I knew, I knew it couldn't be far away once you got into all your, your moon mission facts. So it is. But well, you know what I've realised here on the moon? My wonder was with me all the time. What? So we've been looking and looking all over the place for nothing, Dorothy? Remember what I said, Robin? If science is everywhere, and it is, then wonder is everywhere too. All at once. See? that work then? I just said, wonder is everywhere. No, I mean, how does that actually work? Oh, uh, well, my wonder's quantum. Figures? Everywhere you look in scientific discovery, whether it's unlocking the secrets of life, the phones in our pockets, or going to the moon, there is something 
wonders. And something else I've just realised. You can't afford me, you can't have a budget. What? Time's up. Well, no, but hang on, we've still got, but we've got the other bits to, no, you can't just, oh, well, I don't need him anyway. I can do the voice. I can, I can do the Brian voice. I can do, well, no one will know. Space is amazing. We just sent men to the moon. We sent the Voyager satellite outside the solar system. And now we've got the Curiosity rover looking for life on Mars. Imagine it, Robin. Imagine life on Mars. Life on Mars sounds like a bit of a stretch. Uh, I could do space oddity, though. Chris Hadfield, what you... Brown could... Stop it, stop it, stop it. If we've run out of budget for Brian, there's no way we're going to be able to pay for that. Sorry. Shouldn't you be on the space station? Uh, I got off to stretch my legs. It'll be back in uh, 92 minutes. What's that? Oh, yeah. Hello there. Do you enjoy seeing all the other wonder in the science museum, then? Well, if you don't want the wonder then, Brian. Oops. Oh, yeah. And then the pull of the black hole means that you're more likely to find love on a Tuesday. When the moon sometimes gets in the way of the stars and the light gets all trapped inside a genie. Oh, then I think I'll put it in the wrong way round. Ow. Can I tell you about muons and gluons and cats that are dead and alive and how we're all made of star stuff and... Go on then, Brian. Wonderful. Thank you.